around 7 in the morning on the 28th of October, a Friday. We got about 5 miles uh, to the Bay Bridge Tunnel. Though the two passages through the Bay Bridge Tunnel are fairly wide, wide enough for large ships to pass through, I still get nervous every time I sail through there as I often encounter tricky currents and sometimes fickle winds in and around the structures. Ever since I nearly got driven up on the bridge from the bay side on account of strong northerly winds and a contrary current, I've always been a bit afraid of the place. Well, we made it through the Bay Bridge Tunnel. Look at this slop, this steep chop. a smooth patch you get up to about three and a half four knots and then you just slam into another wave and it stops you dead Okay, well enough of that. Now four days out from Hadley's Harbor, Massachusetts, I decide to hang a left and put into Pocosin where I can drop my anchor and get some rest. Well, there's another one down. Now I gotta get everything all straightened up here. So while I was sitting in the harbor there, I made one of these nice fancy soft eye shackles so I can put my turning block to the relieving tackle for the code zero. Just soft shackle that. everybody. It is the 30th of October 2022. Tomorrow's Halloween. And uh, today's spooky event has uh, nothing spooky. It's actually been pretty nice sailing except dead up wind. And it's supposed to get a little bit lighter. Left Pocosin around 11 o'clock this morning. And uh, as I said, it's been delightful out here. Chilly, but delightful. Uh, with the exception of the fact that we're just going dead up wind. And so I just rigged the code zero. I found actually I can go to windward pretty well with the code zero. And uh, because the winds are getting lighter and they're forecast to continue to get lighter. So down to about five knots. Um, the other bit of bad news is the current's going to turn against us in about an hour. So that's going to be tough. Uh, the good news is the wind is supposed to veer more easterly, which if that happens would give us a nice angle. We'd be able to get on a close reach uh, past Wolf Trap to Deldeville. Um, so in any case, we're not going to get in until well after dark. Uh, I'm guessing we'll probably get in around 11 p.m. or so. Uh, it's presently about 4.30, I think, in the afternoon. Uh, and looking on the weather map, there's there's absolutely no windows to jump offshore. The canonical date to head offshore is November 1st. But um, looking at the map, there's a, there's another one of these big lows, not particularly intense, but it's going to form to the east of here, between here and Bermuda, uh, which is going to bring uh, strong northeasterly winds uh, middle of next week. So uh, if I take off tomorrow, uh, I'm not going to have tomorrow and uh, Monday, Tuesday is really no wind, so that's a no-go. Wednesday is you get northerlies, but then uh, Wednesday and the Thursday, these brisk northeasterlies are going to build in. So it would mean crossing the Gulf Stream with northeast winds about 20 to 30 knots, no thanks. And then they're going to veer east to southeast. And uh, the course, 
is southeast initially. You kind of do a dog leg. You go southeast until you're about 200 miles south of Bermuda or so if you're going to the Caribbean and then uh, turn due south. Uh, so that way you'll have a good angle on the trade winds when you get down south. Um, so, and that, that brings us out to the end of the weather files all the way to about next weekend. Uh, today's Sunday, all the way till next Sunday. And uh, looking at next Sunday, it's just, um, uh, it's just southeasterlies, it's just headwinds. So, uh, so I'm not ready to go yet, so that's fine. Well, happy Halloween. Just anchored outside here. See where the flashing green is? That's the entrance into Deldaville, into Jackson Creek. I didn't want to try to do that last night when it was dark. So I am... making myself a cup of coffee and uh, once I slug down some coffee and wake up here I'll put the little uh, drop the little Tahatsu down and let them push us the rest of the way into Jackson Creek as usual I'm wrong way hairy here there's a catamaran just went out got two more boats heading out Hopefully they'll clear up the, uh, well, I'm pretty sure the power boat, he's got his fenders, he was at the dock. So that's probably not clearing up any anchoring space. Veterans Day, November 11th, 2022, anchored in the South Creek of Jackson Creek here. And uh, this is the remnants of Hurricane Nicole, which is going over us right now. And it's been flat calm, but the winds are, uh, you can see the American flag there. Uh, the winds are picking up. So it's supposed to blow pretty hard out of the south, uh, veering to the southwest. So once it comes southwest, we're getting a little bit of a uh, little bit of bump and surge in here. Once it goes southwest, though, it'll it'll go flat. Uh, just down to Hampton today. Okay. Yeah, here's our slalom course here. Deltaville is convenient for reprovisioning as well as uh, access to showers and laundry and so forth. The problem with Deltaville is that it's 40 miles from Deltaville to the uh, back to the Bay Bridge Tunnel. So if you're heading offshore, you got a full day sailing down the bay uh, before you even exit out into the open waters of the Atlantic. So it makes it a little more difficult to time your window. It's nice sailing out on the bay even if it is mid-November and rather chilly. Well, I'm guessing he's gonna get in before we will. Jesus! Ah, whoo! Ow, I cut myself. 
bread here. Whew. Oh, there they go. Whoa! Yeah, it looks like they're gonna blow past me here. I'm a little too slow for them. Consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. As a patron, you will be able to view my videos free of ads. You will also be able to leave comments, ask questions, and message me directly. You can become a patron for as little as $5 a month.